Hello, today we are looking at what I believe to be a 1982 Simplicity 6216. This would be what Simplicity considers a garden tractor. It's got a 16 horsepower Briggs & Stratton opposed twin engine. This particular system that I have in front of me, um, lots of attachments here. We've got the rototiller. We've got the mowing deck. And we've also got the snowblower attachment. So let's take a closer look at this stuff. So like I mentioned, this has a 16 horsepower Briggs & Stratton opposed engine. There she be in all her glory. This thing seems to be in really good shape. Let's take a look at the tags under the hood. We've got belt information for the mower and the tiller and the snow blower that's very nice down below is another tag I believe that is for when you have the snow blower attached that covers up these louvered holes keep the snow uh, out of the engine compartment on the dashboard we've got the throttle We've got the ammeter. Um, we've got light switch. We've got the on off switch. And we've got the choke. Up here, we got an indicator. The tra transmission is in neutral and the PTO is disengaged. Uh, let's see, underneath the hood, underneath the hood, underneath the seat, so you get, there's uh, little metal tabs here. Kind of push those in on either side. Tricky to do this with one hand. <laughs> Enough of this nonsense. Let's get her done. Under the seat, we've got the battery compartment, and this is where the starter solenoid is located. We've got this is a variator, uh, a variable speed kind of thing. It's got gears here, as you can see one, two, and three, and neutral and reverse, and that would be this lever. And then, once you're in that particular gear, then you can slide this up and down to adjust the speed while you're in that particular gear. I have never started this thing nor driven it yet. It doesn't have any belts. So let's take a closer look at the back. It says cast iron transmission, limited slip differential. You know, there's a little spot on the back here where the belt comes out to power the rototiller. Hey look, on this side too, it's a 6216. Uh, this bar here raises and lowers the attachments. Locks in down here, and you push the push the button up on top. The parking brake on these simplicities is simply you press on the brake, which foot, and this pivots, so it just catches on the front of the foot pad there. All right, so that's the tractor. Where's the model number? Let me look. All right. All right, so here is the tag, the ID tag. May or may not be able to read that, but I will get a better look at that and then post that information in the description box. Rototiller here. 
there's the ID tag for the rototiller. Again, I'll post that information separately in case you can't read it. It mounts to the back of the tractor by um, a couple of pins. And it looks like there's, well, that's just a hitch. It's covered in yuck. So this rod here is what is connected to this rod for raising and lowering it. And then when you want to engage the rotor tiller, you pull this lever up and it puts tension on the blade. There's the tines. All right. Let's take a look at a snowblower attachment. That long rod to the left, that is the same rod that would attach to this to raise and lower the snowblower up and off the ground. And then this rod attaches to a mechanism under the tractor to engage, put tension on the uh, belt, get the snowblower a spinning. Let's take a look at the ID tag for that one. Once again, I'll get the numbers separately and post them. Single stage snowblower, snow thrower, snow blower, whatever. And then let's take a look at the mower deck. Mower deck obviously needs a belt. <laughs> It's pretty shredded. Uh, the ID tag is there. Although that one's pretty nasty looking. And this one has the the rollers on the back for that striping that simplicity gives you when you mow. Again, I've never used this thing. Just picked it up recently. And hopefully... Clean it all up, make it look showroom worthy. So there it is, there's the entire package with a dog in the background. And uh, we'll keep more videos coming on this thing as uh, things progress. Thanks for watching.